Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. My name's Katie, and today I am going to show you the most epic declutter clean that I have had to do in this house. So anyone with kids, you probably know that Christmas time comes with just a lot of presents and our toy room i kid you not was a total disaster it i left it for a few days because i was too scared to tackle it and finally got the motivation to tackle that i also cleaned out um, my little boy's room our closet and just a few other areas that desperately needed decluttering but by far the toys were the absolute worst so I wanted my house to have a nice, fresh, clean feel going into the new year, and that's what I'm hoping to give you guys motivation for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, consider doing so. And that's all I'm going to ramble, and I'm just gonna get right into this decluttering. I started with our coat closet downstairs, and I have never attempted to declutter this the entire time that we've lived here, and I guess I thought since it's such a small closet that it wasn't very dirty or cluttered, but then I took a better look inside and realized, yeah, it really is. So the first thing that I did was take everything out so I could just see what had been in there and what I needed to do. everything was cleared out I got a trash bag actually a couple trash bags one for things that I wanted to throw away and the other for things that I thought that I could either recycle or give to someone else or donate so I just started organizing and figuring out where everything needed to go While I was doing this, I was shocked at how much I had crammed into this tiny closet. This closet is very, very, very small, but there was a ton of stuff in here. So all of the things on the right, the broom and that type of thing, I was planning to put back into that closet because I like to have it handy for cleaning, but everything else just needed a huge revamp. So I was trying to figure out how I would store everything so that it didn't end up just being a big pile of mess again like it was the first time and just figure out a better organizing system. I decided to use these white bins that I had got from Target to put the diapers in. Um, the boxes for the diapers are just really large and it's a lot easier to get diapers out once they're already out of their plastic wrapping. So I did that and then I also used the white buckets to organize some of my cleaning supplies that were smaller such as um, my Swiffer and just the um, mixture that you use for cleaning that so everything wasn't just thrown all over the floor. Finally, I used another white bin to put all of my attachments for my vacuum. I do like to use these, so I didn't want to lose them, but I hate when they're just sitting everywhere because I feel like it just looks really disorganized. Woo! Next, I cleaned my closet. The floors especially were pretty dirty, so I wiped those down and I think that this might have been the first time that they've been cleaned in like, I don't even know, six months. So don't tell anybody. Next, I sorted all of the coats that were hanging in the closet and got rid of some and then put some upstairs in my daughter's closet. It's winter now, so 
definitely heavier coats are what I need to have in the closet and I had a lot of lightweight jackets for them which they won't be wearing until the spring so I wanted also for all of my hangers to match I didn't want to splurge on the super nice velvet looking hangers one day that's my dream to have all of those super pretty hangers in my closet and just have everything match but for right now these cheap ones will have to do at least they match once I had the coats all sorted through, then I hung them up in the closet and tried to give them a good amount of space between each one. So if I pull one coat off, it doesn't end up pulling like three more off. <laughs> That's like one of my biggest pet peeves. And it made a huge difference. There were a lot less coats, a lot less to choose from, and just I'm all about simplifying my life whenever I can. After this, I moved on to sorting the hats and gloves. And I do like to have just a couple pairs of gloves and a hat for the kids but I don't need a whole bunch because I feel like if I have too many then it just ends up being a humongous mess. So I put what I felt like we would be able to use in this little basket. Here is the after of our closet. I feel like it looks way more organized, way more tidy, and I know where everything is and there's not anything in here that doesn't need to be in here. It just makes my brain feel a lot more relaxed. Biggest disaster in our house after the holidays was the playroom. So the kids received a lot of really nice new toys and just presents for Christmas. And this is great, but we had quite a lot of toys in this room already, and some of them just needed to be put away for if we have another baby or just sometimes I like to rotate the toys because I feel like the kids get bored of seeing the same thing all of the time. I had to do this in a couple of different segments because when I started, my kids were napping, but then they woke up and it's so hard to declutter when kids are awake because at least for me, when I start picking something up, then it makes my kids super interested in it and then they want to just get it all back out again. So the very first thing that I did was move all of the bigger items out of the center of the room. I just wanted to have a little bit of space so I could work on decluttering some of the smaller items first. Once the larger items were out of the way, then I started working on picking up anything that was just trash or anything I could recycle and put that in a bag. I had a little bit of wrapping paper and there were just some random pieces to toys that just like, like the boxes that they came in that wasn't necessary. So I worked on getting rid of those items first. Next, I worked on sorting. This was definitely the hardest and most time consuming part because there were so many pieces to all of the toys mixed all together. That is what my kids love to do. So I really wanted to make sure that I had everything that went with each specific toy all together in one spot. It just makes it so much easier and it makes it so much nicer for the kids to play with too. So I spent a ton of time, and I really do mean a ton of time, trying to figure out where all of that went and put everything together and just make the playroom more enjoyable for everyone. I was so close to being done sorting, but then my kids woke up again, so I had to take another pause, and I finished the playroom on the next day. So please excuse my outfit. I was totally exhausted and just trying to get this done. And when I'm home, I really, really like to be comfortable, so I know that this is not flattering at all. I'm fully aware, but bear with me. I am almost done with this room. Finally, I could vacuum my floor. I'd been wanting to do this for days, but since my floor was covered with toys I just it hadn't made any sense and it is so nice to just have the vacuum lines and know that my carpet is clean. 
While I was vacuuming, I noticed that there were a few spots on our carpets where the carpets were just stained. So I spot treated those and it really made a huge difference. Our carpet looks much, much more clean and fresh. Here's a quick look at the playroom after I was done decluttering and cleaning. I know that there's still a lot of toys in here, but I do have three kids, all three and under, and we're home more because it's winter time and it's cold outside, so I like to have some variety, and I feel like this is the perfect amount for us. I know that everybody's different and every child is different, but we, I feel like this is manageable and there is not a whole bunch of toys that they can dump out. I tried to put anything dumpable high up on the shelves and then keep anything that's pretty easy to pick up and something that my kids can do alone on the lower shelves. Once the playroom was finally finished, I moved on to River's room and his closet was actually not too, too bad. I mean, it's messy, but it wasn't nearly like the playroom. So I took everything out of his, the bottom part of his closet and I plan to get rid of this baby changing station. I have had three kids and never used this thing for its intended purpose. So today is the day that I am going to get it out of here. After that was out of the way, I went through all of the clothes hanging in River's closet and anything that didn't fit I just basically threw on the floor because my plan was to look through all of the clothes and if I wanted to keep anything for um, our next baby, if we have another baby, then I plan to sort that differently and then I plan to donate the rest. able to get everything sorted I started putting all of the clothes away back in his closet and I sorted these so that his t-shirts were on the right hand side long sleeve shirts were more towards the middle and then anything that he wasn't quite fitting into yet like anything I have a few items that are like 2t or just a couple sizes bigger than what he needs right now I put all the way to the left so that I would just have them ready for when he does grow into them was done I felt like the closet looked much better I will give you a quick look at how it turned out and also show you everything that I was able to declutter and or get rid of some of the items I'm just putting back for another day when maybe it's rainy or they're just the kids just need um, something to do some I'm keeping for if we have a future baby some things are just trash and some I'm donating so I hope this gave you some motivation and I'll talk to you in my next one bye guys